Hi everyone, this is Bobby, and um, you guys have requested me so many times to show you guys how I do my hair. So I thought, mm, you know, today's got a good day too. So for a change, um, I, you know, videoed myself doing my hair. And um, I stick by my rules, quick policy, and um, I don't like to spend too long doing my hair. So in most cases, especially for hair like this, I like to spend no more than five minutes. So I guess this is just a video to show you how to create quick volumized hair the way I do it. And I uh, hope you enjoy it and I'll talk to you very soon. So this is how my hair looks, you know, just when I wake up. It's not straightened, it's nothing nothing on it, just clean hair. And I'm going to spray some heat protectant into my hair, just to really protect it from getting even more damaged by the heat appliances. Spray it all over and smooth it out. I have a lot of hair so I tend to spend a bit more time, you know, getting the product into my hair. And then now I'm going to throw my head upside down and straighten my hair. It looks silly but trust me it works. It can really boost your hair, really volumize it. And this way you know that every single piece of your hair is straight so you, you won't have that you know very odd dent or curl in your hair. You know that every single piece is straight. And I like to start from one side of my hair from my ear and then work to the other side. And just keep on doing that. As you can see. And after that minute you spend straightening your hair, I'm just going to lift my head back up again. I nearly dropped my straightener there. You can see there is so much more volume into my hair. It is completely straight. Not flat. Sometimes when you straighten your hair, your hair can look very flat. But because I've straightened it upside down, it's um, remained its volume and if not gained more. Now I'm going to apply some hairspray into my hair. Any hairspray will do. Your favourite one. And I... I've only spread it to the upper layers if you can tell because that is the area that I want the volume to be. I like to twist the ends because I like the bottom bits to be kept thin. Now this is my Sebastian clay that I rave about. I'm just going to scratch it to my upper layers. And I scrunch, scrunch, and scrunch. If you notice, I spend most of my time just really um, styling my upper layers, just styling my front bits because these are the important essences of the style. Just style it accordingly. I mean, I'm twisting my ends again. It 
it's really just about, you know, adjusting your hair, you know, squeezing here, oh, maybe I need a bit more volume here, so I'll scrunch here, you know, etc, etc. I'll show you guys. Scrunching. And then maybe add a little more touch of hairspray. And then we're pretty much finished. And there we have it. Volumize quick hair. Thanks for watching and I'll see you very very soon. Anyway, this is just an extra section of the video and I think it's a very important video because um, many of you guys have requested me to send you emails um, of pictures of my hair and it's been a really great compliment. So it started off as about 6 emails and now I have about 40 to 50 people to send on my hair and um, I realized that it's probably best that I post a picture, not a picture, that I post several pictures of my hair into my blog. So you will be able to find pictures of my hair on my blog on this um, information box right there and I'm going to list it there and um, or right here. This is my blog here. And um, just choose whatever picture you feel is most suitable. I'm going to be taking pictures of my hair, you know, front be like this or side and whatever. And simply just bring that to your hairdresser because that is what I did. And you guys have asked me what I asked my hairdresser, so this is what I asked. I went to the salon, looked through a hair magazine. I didn't even know what I wanted at that time. And I saw this picture of a girl and her hair was actually short. It was up to here. But um, it wasn't the length of her hair that inspired me. It was her sections up here. She had a lot of layers going on. As you can see, you know, I kind of have this sort of like layers, these layers just framing around my head. Loads of these, you know, from short getting long. They were a lot shorter, but they got to, you know, really grow. And I actually looked better when they were short. So I'll be needing to cut my hair very soon, but you know, you can tell the layers is coming down and these bottom layers are just kept long, see, there's, you know, they're the same length, just kept long, but they're razored, so they're thinned out the ends, so nicely thinned razored ends and layers at the top, so this is, yeah, this is just really what the hair is about, so you can save this to your hairdresser and you know, possibly even show them a picture where she can get my blog. Uh, so I hope this was helpful and um, good luck and I'll see you guys really, really soon.